Hello everybody and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we actually took down two bosses. We took down the Hag and went straight after the Siren immediately after we finished with the Hag. And uh, we have a few people that have something to say, especially Sixth has uh, has got his first major breakthrough in his character development, which I'm looking forward to getting into. And we also have a new character, the Librarian, to introduce as well, so let's get right into that. Here we are in the Cursed Estate and we are ready to jump back in and do yet another boss honestly um i've been kind of preparing getting myself ready wondering where we're gonna go next and i think the fulminating prophet i think that's his name something along those lines um the, definitely the prophet uh, i can't remember the first word but yeah we're gonna go ahead and go him but first of all we do have a new character to introduce this is sunasis or sun for short um and this is the librarian written by soft roll Having worked in the Hamlet's small library, she expanded her knowledge and learnt about tales as old as time and would often gather the town's children and keep them entertained with stories and real-life encounters she had. But when trouble arose and the, when the dungeon was discovered and the townsfolk preferred tools of war and knowledge, she lost her library. With nothing left to lose, she fled the town with nothing but her journal stuffed into her coat and learned all about the horrors that were in the dungeons and how better to combat them. She would return several years later to find the hamlet torn into pieces and without proper knowledge the town folk couldn't recover so she took it upon herself to rebuild it and venture into the dungeon and unfold the very fabric of these horrors beautiful beautiful backstory there really love the idea of the librarian here basically she is going to be buffing people's resolve xp um, and buffing the party she seems very very useful um and yeah we're gonna have a, a lot of good times with her i think uh, she also does have a small diary entry upon entering the hamlet these soot filled walls are as bleak as i left them i guess weapons didn't serve you well maybe now they'll understand that knowledge is power very interesting really really like that we also do have some diary entries and this is a big one this is our first cinematic of sorts for um for sixth i think a few characters especially of um unstable strafes are going to have these um as sixth landed landed the final hit on the hag something in the woods changed the wind blows a little bit harder the owls hooting a bit quieter and Kaminari steps up to Six to congratulate him, but suddenly Six lurches up and begins to spin around wildly in a frenzied panic. Where, where am I? Who are you? Where? I, I, I know who you are. I can remember these few weeks clearly now. Breathe calmly, my friend. Kamari said to him, hand on Six's shoulder. The hag, she is dead. Is it over? I do not know. Do not worry about it, friend. Rest and let your mind recover beautiful interaction between those two there and as you can see the spell that sixth is under from the hag is is breaking she's he's killed the uh, the first iteration of the hag and his curse is slowly breaking that's going to be great to see the progression of um but yeah we uh, I've, I've put together a bit of a party i've run it past a few people they seem to think it's a good idea so we're going to do the um, Sor Soranus Prophet. The, I think Fulminating Prophet's the next one, actually. Okay, so we have some great rewards here. With the Book of Sanity, minus 20% stress. The Heart Anchor, which is extra damage and HP, but less speed and move resist. Uh, sorry, increased move resist, uh, but less speed. And then Book of Holiness, which is more stress reduction. <laughs> so that them two are very, very good. So the idea here is we have Amaris, who we took out recently uh, up front. She's mainly going to be using Blood of the Mitre, Lazarus's Gift, and Iron Shroud, but she also has the ability to use Hand of Rapture, which does extra damage to Unholy, which the Prophet is. Um, she's going to have a bit of extra dodge and a little bit of extra healing. Um, we have Berthold as well, uh, who does indeed have another diary entry, which we'll go over just before we hop in here. And he's using the two new things we got in the last episode for a total of 40 prot, for a total of 40 protection. He's going to be using his crush, uh, he's going to be using his defend to guard and buff protection, uh, he's going to be using his retribution to trigger his repost, and he's also going to be using um, bolster to buff dodge, because the uh, prophet does a lot of damage. We also have our assassin Scarlet, who did a great job last time. Uh, she's got the slime jar on her, as well as the kraken's guard for extra max HP and protection. Um, although I do believe there's something counteracting, counteracting the max HP. Yeah, these two counteract each other. Um, but mainly she's going to be using Flying Dagger uh, in the back line and um, Night Knight to strike from the back lines, applying Blight, um, which 
it's going to be okay while we're in the uh, in the dungeons here. Uh, and then she's going to be able to buff herself with extra crit and dodge, which is going to be a really good idea to start off with. And then we also have Aaron, who we haven't taken out in a little while here. He's going to be using um, some offhand healing and stress healing. But the main thing he's going to be doing is using Word of Power here, which bu buffs itself slowly the more you use it, as well as does 40% extra damage to Unholy. As well as, in combination with Scarlet here, extra damage to Mark, 40% extra damage. He, he basically cannot crit. He does have massively reduced crit, but we should see a pretty decent damage uh, amount come from Aaron here. And I'm hoping that should be enough for us to uh, to get out there and have a, have a good time against these guys. So let's hop into our provisions. Um, we're going to want to get 18 food, 4 shovels. We're going to want a whole stack of anti-venom to... Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It'll take four of them actually. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, and we'll take a whole heap of torches. Cool. So my idea here is anti venom's gonna stop people from being killed on death's door by the prophet because he can poison. Keys are just in case we find a secret room. Uh, obviously shovels are always good. Holy water we can use to increase resistances before heading into the battle. So that's going to be pretty good. So let's uh, let's head on in. I'm, I'm I'm a little worried for this this party. I'm a, I'm a little worried. I have to say. Oh wait a minute. Hand of Rapture doesn't work in uh, position one, so we'll, we'll go with this instead. I'm glad I noticed that. Um, Hand of Rapture is decent, but yeah, we'll go with this instead. Uh, 25 crit against Unholy. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, let's let's head out here and uh, and see how these guys perform. I'm just going to check to make sure we don't have any negative quirks that are going to mean we uh, have a real hard time here. I don't think we do. Uh, minus five virtue chance isn't great. Uh, less damage if torch is high. He's also going to be getting the extra damage and accuracy versus marked and all the way around for uh, non-marked. But that shouldn't be a problem when we're marking with uh, with Scarlet here. Um, this is going to be interesting. Let's let's try this out. Let's go. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. Right, that's beautiful. Going in against the prophet, but we have another diary entry here written by um, Friendly Chef for Bertholdt, our um, man at arms that's with us today. My prayers have been answered. Rune survived. Rune and I both had an extensive, extensive conversation about how each had come here. Rune tried and failed to track the beast through the forest, and I, I wandered here aimlessly through blind luck, found my way here. Afterwards, we both parted ways to go prepare for upcoming missions, just like we used to. I am beyond grateful that Rune is here. Perhaps the situation isn't so bad after all. Beautiful. I'm really loving these interactions here. So, let's count, let's count. So, one, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five. So it's definitely there. Okay. Okay. A trap on Aaron there. It's going to increase our stress a little bit. It's not great. Not great. We should be we should be all right though. Here's our first battle. We got the surprise, which is very very nice. So here we go with um, the launch back with a flying dagger. It's going to deal eleven damage there and mark you. And then we'll just go Word of Power to finish you off. Lovely. And that's going to buff his Word of Power for later. Um, we'll get our Repost set up, as well as marking ourselves, which hopefully will help out. These guys are unholy, so we should probably just go for some damage. Nice. Nice amount of damage there, and a bit of self-healing as well. We are taking a bit of damage here. We can probably go for a, a heal on that. And there, that's a, that's a big Repost there. Love that. Let's go for a heal here. Crits of six is beautiful. We're going to lower our speed there on that, though. Um, and then we can jump forward. We're still going to hit the back line, so let's just stay back. Um, we can. We might as well kill you, because we can't fully kill this guy. And this should kill you. Lovely. Lovely. Right, everyone's looking good still. Um, Aaron's still not great for HP, but we should be fine here. Uh... Right, something I didn't check is camping skills. I probably should have checked those before I came here, but we should be okay. We should be okay. Keep our torchlight up. We found a repose guard. These guys can be very, very difficult. Um, let's just get him marked. Gonna help Aaron out. Ow. Um, 
Let's buff everyone's dodge. That's going to be useful. Crit of eight there, but that's not too bad on you. Um, Amaris here can, can heal up the group and be fine. So, word of power on you. Let's, uh, let's get the group healed up. Start that going. Bit of stress healing on everyone's always nice. And that repost is going to heal everyone. So that's not too bad. We didn't quite set up the repost on um, Bethold there. But we should be fine. Um, we will go for this. Set this up. Make sure we mark everyone there. Aaron definitely needs a targeted heal soon. Uh, can we get a kill here? Let's go for this. Yes, we can. That is a big crit there from Scarlet. Thank you very much. Crits for one. It's okay, though. Let's uh, let's get a heal on, on Aaron. Let's heal himself up. That, that lowered speed isn't great, but I think we should be okay. This guy does increase his damage the longer he's alive, so we definitely want to be taking him out. Thank God he's going for Amorous, though. Amorous can take on those hits. Um, let's go for another hit there. Go for that Blight. And word of power on you should kill you. Great. Great, great, great. They really like to attack Aaron here. I mean, he is an exorcist. It makes sense. We're going to go for a big heal on him. It is going to blight us and, and such, but we should be fine for that. Uh, activate our post on you. Ooh, I, I have just realized I've, I've slightly messed that up. Uh, it's fine, though. It's fine. We can, we can reposition ourselves. You're going to die to the blight, so we don't need to take care of you. And Word of Power should do a good amount of damage to you as well. You are marked. And we will heal ourselves up again to just counteract that Blight and Dare Bleed damage. And take, the, take the strike on you. Lovely. And we, are, uh, we got ourselves something here. Extra damage versus crits. Extra crit chance, but extra crits received. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. Carry on through. I think everyone's in the right positions. Looks to be. Yeah, looks to be. Let's carry on. Uh, we've got one of these here. We'll definitely use a key on one of those. Bit of extra gold. That's what I like to see. We can also destroy the pews that the uh, the Prophet has for a little bit of extra money. Now, that isn't going to be a high priority for me, but if I can do it, I'll try. Unfortunate miss there. Unfortunate miss. We do not want to mark ourselves during this fight. It's a bad idea. Oh, the dodges coming hot and heavy. Spit. Good dodges, everyone. Good dodges. Little bit of blight on you there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that off you yet. Let's just make sure everyone's healed up here. Repost is actually quite nice. He is gonna get marked. Not stunned though. The mark is problematic though. Nice hit. Nice hit, Scarlet. Yeah, the mark is definitely problematic because the spit does a lot more damage when marked, as you can see right there. Um, we'll do that to heal you up. That is gonna clear the mark off of you at least. Now your mark. We'll clear the mark off you next turn as well. Bite, we're gonna dodge that nice one, Bethel. Um Let's just go with this, get the kill and a self-heal. And strike you down. Nice one. Bethel, nice one. And there's Scarlet with that strike at the end there. Little bit low here, we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's not a, not a terrible problem. And we do have a few more units here. Stress here isn't terrible. Honestly, that pull isn't that bad either. Run for the old roads. It's okay. Run for the old roads again. Old gods even. I always think it's old roads for some reason. Um, we're going to deal less damage to you. I don't think there's anyone that we can straight up kill here. Um, let's go with this. This is going to move us forward. But that's going to set up the blight on you. Oh, unfortunate dodge there. Retribution. We'll go with a bolster. Uh, we're going to set up our self-heal here. Along with our mark and everything. Good thing is we can set up prop, prot and then reduce the mark. Which is really nice. Still got those on there. Aaron's getting pulled but don't worry about it. He's fine. Word of power. And you. Okay, this is difficult. Oh, nice crit, Scarlet. Wonderful. It's what I like to see. What I like to see. Okay, that bat can be problematic. Let's hope it doesn't deal too much stress there. Nice dodge. Probably set up. Nice. Set up a nice repost on you with that crit there. But I'm, I'm liking that pretty much everyone can work from every position here. I think it's only Amorous that needs to be kind of up near the front. Um, I'm going to do this again to get us another decent self-heal. Make sure we don't take too much damage here. 
We're going to take a little bit of bleed damage here and probably a little bit of stress as well. Yeah, that's not a terrible problem. Um, word of power to finish you off. Nice one, Aaron. And we should be able to strike you down with another crit. Absolutely wonderful, Scarlet. Scarlet's the queen of crits, I swear. And that's a big heal on everyone there. Set up for a burst again, just in case. We'll go for some more healing on um, on Amorous. Aaron's going to help out there. Ooh, unfortunate miss there. We are going to get that repost. And just use that on you there. Not going to do too much damage there. We'll keep striking you down. And this should finish you off with another huge crit. Wow, it's just perfect. And we actually got this as well. Bleed chance versus marked. Bleed amount versus marked. Very, very nice indeed. Um, right. Let's carry on this way. Up our torch a little bit. First hunger check coming in. That's not too bad. Another trap there for Scarlet. Shouldn't matter too much, but it's not great. Right, okay. Got another bat here, which I'm I'm looking to take out care of straight away. I probably shouldn't have done that on Scarlet, considering she was the highest stress there. But I don't think it was too bad. We want to be getting rid of this front guy pretty early here. Um, Unholy and Eldritch. Let's just go for it. The five damage there. I actually think that Amaris can finish this off. Yes, with a huge crit. Well done. Extra healing skill as well. Go to the crunch there. Hmm. Okay. Scarlet's starting to take on some heavy stress, which isn't great. But we should be able to clear some bodies here. Um, yeah. Clear some bodies here in order to get a stress heal. There you go. It's only three. But it's, it's enough. Night bite. We're going to go for the uh, the self-heal here. Oh, that's a huge crit there. Absolutely huge crit there. Go against the marked target. Finish you off. Nicely done. We're definitely going to want to be building this up um, over the course of a few battles. But that's going to be pretty good for us there. Right. Uh, get in here. Scouting is nice. Yeah, we can just make it through to here then. And take a a nice little uh, a nice little camping session. Get everyone revitalized. Ready for the fight. Together. We can do that. Right, That's let's have a little look see. So we've got Prevents nighttime ambush. Nice. Um, we don't have to prevent nighttime ambush on you either, do we? Okay, so we'll take that. That's going to prevent nighttime ambush. And torch is above. Okay, that's great. So as long as we keep our torch high, that's going to be great for us. Uh, all companions, extra speed and accuracy. That's really good too. Um, self only. No, we don't want to take that. That doesn't matter. All companions, chance for damage and crit. Chance for accuracy and speed. That's one companion. Um, I think we want to go with this. And then we want to go with this. And maybe... One companion. Plus 15 dodge if religious. On you. That's going to give you a ton of dodge. Okay. We're, we're about ready here. So, we need to make sure that everyone's... Yeah, everyone's moves are in the right spot and everything. Okay, this should be the boss. We found a secret room as well. Uh, we'll come back to that, I think. Yeah, we'll come We'll come back to that. Yeah, because we need we need the inventory space right now. So, we'll, we'll come back to that secret room. But that's... It's great to find one of those. Um, so, we've got books. So, we're, we're going to use... One of these on each. For three rounds, we're going to get a buffed... In every which way, we'll torch up. In fact, we'll double torch up and make sure we're full. Um, make sure them two are in the right places. Right, so the, the kind of idea here is we use Iron Shroud to buff ourselves with our protection. On um, Berthold, we use our guard to guard people that need it and the holster when not guarding. Um, and then we use these two in the back line to deal most of the damage. And that's kind of the idea. Um, we don't have super targeted heals, so that's going to be difficult, but we'll try. It's okay, so... Um, 
Right. So, we don't have any moves that bring you forward, do we? You have no blight resist. So, my idea here is if I move you to here, then you'll take the damage instead. Wow, that's 50 pro. Yeah, let's do that because you'll take the damage instead. So, we'll forward here because it doesn't actually stick to targets. Then we will guard. We, d we don't need to guard you. Oh, I'm going off. Sorry. Then we'll do this here to buff our protection. Then we'll start start on the word of power. Keep that going. Fulminate. That's going to be the poison that we're looking at. There we go. Two damage and seven damage. That makes things a lot easier for us. And we just keep stacking Word of Power, which will keep on going. Uh, then we move back one here. Yeah, you're guarded, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to try and take this out. Because we can get some money for that if we do that. Uh, then let's... How much? How many more rounds do we have this for? Protections for three rounds. Let's activate our repost then. Four minutes. So let's, let's see what sort of poison's on everyone. Poison's fine, everyone, for right now. We just need to be worrisome for later. Reign of Rubble, that's fine. Okay, so it's on both of you now. So we need a big heal on you, really. Uh, so Aaron, if you can keep on attacking him. He isn't doing as much damage as that I hoped. Uh, let's get a heal on you. Get you back up to full. That's going to put Aaron in the wrong spot. Let's just move you two about then. I don't know if that's going to be do good enough, but that is going to activate our repost here. Fulminate again. That repost is nice. Got a dodge there, which is beautiful. Prognosticate on you two. Okay. So now we're in a more difficult spot. So we want to go... We want to move back here, which... I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this out. And then Word of Power on you, which is gonna deal eleven, lovely. And then Guard Ally on you. Okay, beautiful. We will clear that blight and that bleed. Tell you what. How much damage is this gonna deal? So these two have really high HP. Um it's probably not gonna be a good idea. Well, we can't quite hit you either. Uh so let's just Get our protection back and get that heal going. 152 prop. Missed. Lovely. Rain of Rubble. That dealt... Does it, does it bypass guard? Does it bypass guard? I'm confused. Um, we can't go forward. We've got to just go like this. Blight him. Um, you need the heals. You're going to have to heal yourself again, just so you don't die. I mean, you could still die, but let's hope not. Um, let's guard you. Eye on you, that's fine. Bit scary here, but it's okay. Okay, 10 damage there isn't great. Prognosticate on you is not good. Okay, I think we're good though. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. So we got one of the pews. We didn't get both of them, though. Right, so we can throw away... Well, first of all, let's use that on you and that on you. Let's take the pew. We don't need those. We don't need those. We don't need those. Take all of that. Continue adventuring. Just in case we get another food check, which I don't think can happen once we've completed it, but just in case, I'm going to not do anything like that here. I'm not going to eat any food to heal anyone up. That was exactly why. I didn't think that could happen, but the fact that it did is exactly why I did that. Right. Use a key on this. And we get ourselves two heads and a puzzle. Interesting. Um, right, so we, we can get rid of that, that, that. Take all of those. So we got ourselves a lot of money there. We got ourselves the um, Barristan head, which is 
an amazing amount of protection. We also got ourselves Dor Dorelus Head, which I haven't seen before. Extra death blow resist, extra damage and crit when below 50% HP. Um, on attack hit self. On attack hit self block one block at death's door. Um, no healing received if not at death's door. So basically this, this would be if we want to keep someone at death's door, which there is a character that works with that, so that could be very, very nice. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But that was a that was a very profitable quest there. I'm very happy with that. We've got a lot of uh, good trinkets there and stuff. And we got ourselves the extra pew and the uh, puzzling trapezedron, whatever that one's called. That's going to be a lot of money. Let's see what everyone's got. We got Thief, uh, extra disarm chance if um, we've got a skeleton key. We also got this, which isn't terrible. Infirm, that's, we need to get rid of that. And Savage Hater is also nice. We definitely want to get rid of that on Berthenthal, though. Uh, so let's let's get rid of all everyone's trinkets. So you've only got these trinkets on you, so you're fine. You, they're your trinkets. But that, that, went, that went very well. Berthold did an absolutely smashing job there. Absolutely smashing job. Let's see if we've got any, anyone else that we want to take on today. Um, we have an Abomination. Let's have a little look. See, do we need, any, do we need to rank in, anyone up here? I don't think we do. I think we've we've got all of these apart from the Enigma, but he's a level zero, and we're not taking on level zeros at this point. So we'll, I think we're leaving everyone here. I don't think we have any level zeros, so that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. So let's have a little look. What's got for trinket sale here? Tough ring is that's that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. We do have a lot of money now. We're, we're getting up there in the in the money department, which is very very nice. Um, we don't really have too much we can upgrade as of yet, and I don't think anyone needs to. Uh, I don't think anyone needs to be stress healed. Rinaldius has got a little bit of stress, but I think mostly he's fine. And who was it of our party here that needed to go? Okay, it was you. So you need to you need to get rid of that, definitely. Good, good, good. Right, I think we're, uh, we're, we're ready for another mission here. We do have more diary entries, as I said. Um, we have one from our Harlot Red after the uh, last exposition. After the high exposition, God, that woman was uglier than my mother. <laughs> Sorry, that I, I read the first bit. God, that woman was uglier than my mother, and she's dead. Nevertheless, the hag has been finished. One down, plenty to go. Interesting. Right, let's uh, let's have a little look, see what we want to do next. We've still got plenty of bosses to go. We've got the sodden crew here. Um, we've got, I believe, another boss. No, it's just, just the sodden crew that we've got as a boss now. Uh, so let's just have a look for, at the trinkets and see if there's anything we really want here. Extra speed and accuracy in hallways plus scouting chance. Speed's pretty nice, but the, le the less dodge isn't great. Uh, Grave Robber, we don't have one of those yet. We've got a Crusader only there. Uh, Seraph, that's decent. Minus 15 Prot isn't great, though. Um, and we have the Houndmaster. We don't really have too many things we particularly want here. Um, but we will go on a, on a medium mission, I think. Where's looking like... Should we just go... We've only got two short missions here. Should we Should we go for this one? Go for this short mission into the wield. Uh, let's have a little look, see what we wanna what we, who we wanna take out here, shall we? Have a little look. Let's uh let's take a, a closer look at some of our level ones and see if we can maybe look at taking them out and ranking them up a little bit. So I I believe bleed is good in the wield, I believe. So we'll take Trell. Victoria. These two are going to be very interesting together because extra damage versus bleed mixed with um, mixed with Trell's ability to bleed and uh, do damage versus bleed. He's also got a repost as well, which is nice. And he has a self-heal here, which is great. Um, although I believe... No. Is that... He takes, he takes his own health off and gives it to someone else. Ah, oh, that's that, that's kind of sad. Uh, the versus marked thing, but that's not terrible for us though. Um, Kuro, we could we could go with um, we could go with Sun for the first time here. Uh, so let's have a little look at Sun's skills, shall we? Let's take everything off. 
She's got this melee attack, which doesn't seem very useful for us right now. We've got Know Thy Enemy, plus 22 damage received. Uh, it's going to mark the target as well. Interesting. Uh, we've also got... Um, she's going to increase her stress. It's going to deal a bit of damage, and it's going to reduce their damage. Doesn't seem all that useful. Uh, stress minus 6 seems pretty damn good. Buff target uh, with accuracy, crit... Okay, no, okay, I see, I see. It's different It's different things based on different stuff, so... We're going to... Most of the time, that's going to give us 6 protection and 10 accuracy. Uh, as well as this and this. Yeah, let's go with them lot. Let's let's bring you along. And then we, we need a healer, really, don't we? Uh, let's maybe take Mary. Mary's a pretty decent healer. Although she does heal based on maximum HP here, so... Might not be as useful. Or should we take uh, Lucas? Although I believe, yeah. Okay, let's let's take let's take Lucas, and let's uh, have a look at what we've got going on for trinkets now, because we have some we have some great trinkets now. We we really do. So on on this guy here, let's see who's got the most damage. So Victoria by far has the highest damage. Her damage is absolutely just insane. So we'll keep her there. Um, trinket wise, she's already got extra speed. Which might not actually be the right thing for her. We definitely want to give her the um, accuracy and crit. We maybe want to go with... Um, we maybe want to go with something like more damage. Or we could go with the extra protection. Damage, max health. Speed. Do we care too much about speed on her? Or do we just go with the damage and maximum HP? Let's go with that. We don't particularly care about speed there. And we'll just go for the for the absolute hugest of hits. Or, there is another thing that we could go for here. Uh, plus extra damage and accuracy on the first round. That could be interesting. Although, we're going to be using her after, so no. We won't go with that. We'll, we'll stick with what we got there. And for Trell, I think we'll go with... Um, we'll go with this here. The book. Actually, we might as well go with the Book of Sanity. Why not? Book of Sanity, and you can have the you can have the heals on hit. You're gonna get that mixed with. You're pretty you're pretty squishy. You're both really squishy. So let's put twenty protection on you, and you can have the other twenty protection as well, wherever that may be from these boots here. You're gonna get a little less speed, which isn't great. In fact, we might want to switch these two over. Yeah, you can you can have that one. And you can have that one. So they've both got a bit more protection. Shouldn't be taking quite as much damage. And can we get one more thing on on um on Sun here? Warrior of the Light, isn't that great? <laughs> great one to have there. Uh Trying to think what might be best on here. We we, we need something that increases the amount of uh amount her buffs do, but I don't think there are any, anything such as that exists. We could up her dodge. Or up her accuracy. Let's up her dodge. She's she's very movable now. She's very easy to be moved around. And we don't particularly have a very movable group of guys here. But I, I think this should be okay. And I think this is a, a half decent group here. Let's try this out, shall we? We'll go with... 14 food, 3 of these, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and we'll go with 14 of those, and that should be good. Let's try this out, shall we? Let's try this out. It's a good group of people we got going on here. Good group of people. I think these guys should work pretty well together. And taking, um, taking Sun on a shorter mission like this, her resolve XP stacks up quickly. We're going to be hopefully leveling these guys up a decent amount here. Right. Complete 100% of room battles, so we kind of need to go everywhere. So let's go this way first. We want to do all looting as Lucas, by the way, because Lucas does have some insane abilities, like being able to loot camping equipment, like campfires, which is crazy. It's super rare, but it can happen. Right, so we'll go with the bleed on both of you, or one of you. Um, let's start with this, which is going to help everyone. 
We'll go with this. And take a little bit of Blight here. Oh, no, that's not Blight. That's Mark. Okay, there's that protection coming in. Okay. Um, You're going to take a hell of a lot of damage there. I do love Victoria. She is a really, really fun character to play as. Um, that's going to heal for three... Three points around for two rounds. Let's go with that. Let's get, apply the restoration there. Nice dodge, Victoria. Go for the party-wide heal. He died to that bleed. Nice one. And Trell should be able to set up a nice bleed coming in here. Uh, or he can activate his repost. Let's activate his repost. I'm not sure what his repost does. Maybe it's just a bleed. Not, we, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Strike you. Look at that damage. And we'll go for another heal on Trell, actually. Getting big heals there. Obliterate. That's kind of like a follow-up to Sanguine Strike. Take both of them on. Nice crit heal on Victoria. She needed it too. Mark Prey. And we'll finish you off. Not quite, but that's a huge heal we got there. Huge heal. Bring you up to the front. Uh, reduce stress on no one, but I guess we'll just do it on you. And keep doing this for the crits. A little bit of blight there. Shouldn't be a problem. Boom. We can actually activate a repost on uh, Victoria as well. It's an unfortunate miss for Victoria there. Shouldn't mean too much to fuck the really. How are you not dead, sir? There you go. Lovely. And we we don't have enough shovels to do that, honestly. With knowing that there's one shovel use right here, we're going to have to come back this way anyways. I don't want to commit to that yet. Let's get this set up. Um, always set this up at the start of battle as well. Get you two bleeding. Lovely. That's such a that's such a nice setup. Getting the front two bleeding. And then getting Victoria to just go in like that and crit for so damn much. It's, it's, it's a very beautiful combo. I think Trell and Victoria are going to get on very, very well. Uh, we'll cure that bleed off of you and also heal you up a little bit there. That's nice. Uh, can I keep stacking this? I mean, yeah, I can. Uh, so we're getting 20, 20 accuracy there. Nice. Get bleed on you as well. And I think we go for that there. Go for the bigger strike. That's a bad one to target, but luckily it was only the mark. I'm going to keep stacking that bleed on you guys. It's going to help you out a lot. We'll get that restoration on you. That's also going to cure blight and bleed. I didn't even think about that. Having the ability to cure blight and bleed like that. I love the way that uh, Sun is just hiding behind one of um, one of Lucas's dogs. That's great. It's absolutely great. And there's the sort of stuff you're looking for. So these can only stack up to two. But these give you 25 crit chance for one round. So we can we can stack up some crazy crit chance against bosses and things like that there. Uh, wait, we don't need to go this way. We have no reason to go this way. We do have another battle this way though, sadly. And we have a Shrieker as well. It's okay though. Set up this. Always set up this. Brilliant. Um, so I think we I think we set up the bleed there, and then I'm gonna try something. No, thy enemy. Receive extra damage. Right, let's try this. We'll use one of these, and then just smack it. Didn't even crit. Did it killed it, but didn't even crit. I just want to kind of see how big the crits can get with that. Web is annoying, but luckily Trell with the dodge and Lucas takes a bit, a little bit of blight there. But we can, we can clean that off you very easily there, Lucas. Do not worry. Do not worry. That's coming right off you. A party heal there. Nice one, Lucas. A bite, bite, but we resist the bleed. Lovely. Oh, 
20 hits with Victoria. Victoria is probably one of our hardest hitters in the group. Honestly, we haven't been using her to her full extent at all. She is she is a very hard hitter. Oh, we got another rare trinket here. Uh, extra damage versus marked. Extra speed as well. That's very, very nice. Very much like to see that. Very happy to see that. Could get some rabies here, so let's hope not. Um, always start with that. Extra crit chance and, and all that. Lead on both of you. Oh, fa fortunately only on you. Um, let's go nerve thy enemy. Go with a kill. 32 crit. Ooh, my God, Victoria. Oh, my God. We are going to fall in love with you. She is amazing. No, the enemy did dodge it, sadly. Rabies? No. Good. Heal everyone back up to full. I can't believe this this entire battle. <laughs> this entire battle. We've not really got any stress dealers, but we've just been zero stress, full HP the whole time. I mean, I know that could change in, in an instant, but I, I still find that great. Take our pack here. Um, we'll come back for those. If we have shovels, we'll come back for them. I think that's going to be the best course of action here. Extra heirlooms. We need to be searching as this guy. We get so much better stuff if we search as you. Lucas, you need to be doing the searching for everyone. Grab some of that. More food. Wow. And here's our last battle. Some shriekers and some parasites. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Gonna have a little nibble there. Don't worry. Tiny bit of stress. That did stun us, though. I did not know that was a stunning move, but it's good to know. Uh, let's activate Reposed here and gives us a block as well. I think if we ever if we ever uh, take a turn as Victoria before Trell, then we, we might as well set up the Reposed. Wow. Two misses. Beautiful. Keep our block. Keep it going. We can start curing some stress off people now, I think. Now it's actually necessary. Get that block. Oh, and 16 there as well. Beautiful. Ooh, Victoria's finally taking some stress. Finally taking some stress. The parasite should be dead. Yep. Very much so. Get some crits. Ooh, unfortunate. No crits. I'm taking you out and see if we, uh, you'll leave behind something for us. You did not. Good. Uh, we're carrying too much. Let's get rid of one of those. So we are safe to um, we are safe to go back and look at that. We just looted firewood. What the heck? <laughs> what the actual heck? Um, we can get rid of those. But do we have a prevent nighttime ambush? Because if we do, we could use that to like heal everyone up. Um. Delay curse craving, immune to death by crimson curse. Okay, so that's interesting. When we start crimson curse stuff, we can do some stuff with you. Wait, this isn't. You're not showing me the wrong, the right person. There you go. Uh, nope. We don't have any prevent nighttime ambush. I don't think. We don't. If we'd if we'd have had a prevent nighttime ambush, we do have one available there, but we don't have it unlocked. If we'd have had one, I'd, I'd have said it's probably a good idea for us to camp, uh, because if you if you take a look, we can do like um, stress reductions. Um, I want to see if, if is there anything that would affect us greatly outside of this mission. But that's search for herbs is is one of them. Not really. Okay, we'll leave that for now. But the fact that that can happen, it's it's actually crazy. So we'll we'll definitely be um, be remembering that with uh, with Lucas in the future, because being able to loot campfire on a on a medium mission for an extra an extra bit of healing and stat stat ups for a boss fight, it could be huge. It could be huge. And also we can we can bring people like sick who have disease uh, removal on uh, adventures camp a few times and, and do things like that. I'm, I'm interested in those sort of things. Did I just walk past one of the things I wanted to open? I think I did, didn't I? That's a battle here now. I don't really care. Let's just do it. Surprise as well. 
more resolve XP anyways. Right, good, good. Get you, both of you bled and ready. Oh, not quite the kill, but doing good. Hitting them two in the back line is not great for us. Really hoping that we don't get any rabies here. That would be a real kicker. That would be a real kicker. A little bit of bleed there. I'm going to cure myself here. Don't want to have to deal with that. Get bleed on both of you. The AoE heal on everyone there. God damn, the dodges are crazy today. I've been dodging so much. We'll finish you off. I mean, we'll say finish you. That that should finish you. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Um, stress reduction here. Let's keep going. Nice one, son. I'll take a bit of blight again. It's fine. Heal everyone up again. Finish you off. No. Not quite able to finish you off. Okay, now he's now he's dead. Right, we'll go for the targeted heal to get that bleed off of you. Or at least the chance for it. There you go. That dog's finally gone. Escape card. A little bit of blight there. You should not live long though. Keep clearing that stress off you. Hopefully for some crits. Ah. I'm just hoping for some crits for a little bit more stress heal. Get everyone down to zero. That'd be great. Take you out. See if that thing I did see was the actual uh, thing I was looking for. Yeah, it was. So we go here. Use a shovel. We can get rid of those. Take that. Go back this way. But well, we might as well do this first and turn around. The light, the promise of safety. I mean, we could just go all the way down and see what we can get out of out of uh, killing these guys. We're not we're not exactly um, too worse for wear right now. No, let's just let's just take what what loot we can get here, and then we'll go and do. Shall we do this last fight? It could be the collector. So that's that's always a that's always a fear, and we don't have backline damage. The fact that it could be means I'll just end it here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the risk. I've learnt my lesson. I am not greedy anymore. We've got backtrack. That's great. Inaccuracy. Ten percent chance of random target. That's not actually that bad. Uh, slow recovery. It's not great. Improved stress reduction while meditating. Nice one. Nice to see on all of those guys. Everyone getting a bit of XP there. Um, and let's have a little look. See who we've got on the stagecoach this time. We have um, our first grave robber. Lovely. Bring in a grave robber. Very interesting to have. Gold gleams like a dagger's point. Very happy about that. Lots and lots and lots of gold. Lots of trinkets. All that sort of stuff. Sort by level and get the uh, trinkets off of these guys. But that these reduced stress ones are ludicrously good. <laughs> This one's also really good, the Heart Anchor. That that boss giving us those three trinkets was amazing. I know that obviously normally you only get one trinket from a boss. So you might you might be thinking, well, it's a bit cheaty to get three trinkets. The main reason I did that, we have so many different people that require so many different things. Where we've, we're way beyond the normal limit of how many people we're allowed to have as well. That I thought it'd be better to get more trinkets and it's it'd save... It saved me grinding as much, and we I really want to avoid that in this series because I don't want to be throwing people away into dungeons just to try and get some extra money or trinkets. I really want to be trying to keep everyone alive as much as possible. Um, we've got one here for the occultist or the antiquarian, which is going to give... Um, interesting. Um, let's have a little look-see. Do we have an antiquarian? I don't think we do, do we? Damien's Pull, or Demon's Pull, however, however they pronounce that. I always pronounce that Damien. Uh, Demon's Pull. Where's our occultist? Ryan, there you are. Um, so, it increased our damage by a lot. It's probably not worth it, though, is it? I mean, it mixed with that, it would be pretty insane. Either way, we'll, we'll leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. 20% damage versus size 2. Wow, that's that's kind of insane. 
20% damage versus size 2 and 10% damage if in position 1. Where are you, Rinaldius? You're not carrying anything right now, are you? Is that worth buying? That's going to make him really good. I'm going to buy that. It's it's a lot of money. Um, and we are trying to build up on money, but that's that's really good. Let's reduce some of the costs here. An increasing stockpile of curious Honestly, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to fully go in on this and make sure we can buy some trinkets for later. Uh, that's going to be very useful. We'll see if we need to get anything over here. I don't think we do. No. Very nice, though. This has been a great, great episode. Got a lot done here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you've got any uh, backstories or uh, diary entries, please do let me know. And if you're not already in the Discord, please come and join. We're always looking for new writers and people to get involved. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.